Welcome everybody, and here we are at Spooky Findings with your host, Sonya. Yay. <laughs> so, I have a little backstory of what happened this week. I was planning on going to Lowe's, and I didn't go to one, but I went to two. They had nothing up. But, good news is, is that they have some shelves emptied, so it looks like they're getting ready. So hopefully within the next week or two, I can go back and they'll be all set. I did see one cool thing. It was a Nightmare on Elm Street, like, Freddy cutout or, like, animatronic. I'm not really sure because it was, like, way up high. And I'm like, that definitely says Nightmare on Elm Street. The other thing I found was um, they had their fall planters out. And I saw one that had a jack-o'-lantern face. It was pretty cute. But uh, I don't know if it was real or not. But I, I have a black thumb. I cannot keep things alive. So, except for my humans. Um, anyway, if you're new here... Hi, my name is Sonia. We have a variety channel. I like the show and I do shop with me videos, especially during Halloween and the holidays and some spring and summer things. So if you like this video, please subscribe. So this week, instead of Lowe's, I went to two Dollar Tree locations. And the first video is kind of a little shaky because um, they didn't have much and there was workers like all over the place. There was quite a few customers too. I don't know why because it was a weekday. But um, I got what I could, hopefully it's not too bad, and the second location had way more, so I hope you enjoy, and without further ado... Here we have a basket of LED pumpkin lights, a bat balloon wire, lights, some lanterns with pumpkins, spooky tree and skeletons, LED light. I'm trying to turn it on to see if it turn on, but there's no batteries in it, so there's a close-up of it. And I had a hell of a time trying to put it back on the shelf. Here are night lights. These ones I actually got last year. Skull and like a spooky tree. Pumpkin bat and skull LED lights. They have these basically every year. Decent lights. I still have, I have the pumpkin ones. Here are some more LED lights. Purple and orange. Here are little pumpkins, some spiders, I believe there's ghosts, yep, here's a ghost. Here's some ghosts. They say trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, this witch just laughs, creepily. Sparkly uh, branches, skull flowers. Here are some lanterns, here's spider webs. Pumpkin faces with a black cat. Here are perp bats. <laughs> Some flowers for... I mean, you can put it in your hair or you can use them for crafts. Like wreaths and stuff. Witch hat wreath. Little ball decorations for spooky trees. A rat thing. <laughs> Some signs, Day of the Dead and Sugar Skulls. A felt owl, spiders, more owls, a witch and a bat, wicked sign, happy Halloween, a ghost, a witch with her cauldron, uh, witch feet in a cauldron, pumpkins, spooky house, tabletop ghosts and pumpkins, witch hat picks, some stickers, felt stickers, or Oh, vinyl paper, that's what it is. <laughs> More pigs, sparkly pumpkins, some stickers, pipe cleaners, purple pumpkins, ribbon. The witch was a coloring board, which I did get my son. <laughs> some spiders, door hanging, uh, witch stockings and shoes, a light up skull, skeleton. Here, are the f here is the fall wall. Window cleans, uh, wooden, uh, well not wooden, but lawn steaks, gifts, gift things, hot apple cider, window clings, sticker type deals, more signs, hanging signs, and tabletop signs. A lot of red trucks. <laughs> 
pumpkins. Hanging wreaths over the door. Well, they're the hooks for the wreaths, I should say. Some scarecrows. Fall leaves. And floral. Pumpkin scarecrow. Happy harvest. Didn't realize my phone was zoomed in. <laughs> Welcome fall. Always be thankful. Beyond bliss. It's fall, y'all. Grateful. Pecan pie and cherry pie. They actually had the recipes on it, which is pretty cool. Whole bunch of cards. If anyone has a birthday or just gra grandparents, especially when the grandkids, give them Halloween cards. Two for one. Not bad. I like the pumpkin ones. That's why I got a close up of them. These are cupcake wrappers. They're Thanksgiving, but they're really cute. I thought it was pretty cool. If you have like a fall birthday or baby shower. Pumpkin silicone molds. He Here's a bunch of like ramekins or like butter dishes. I thought these were pretty cool. They're all ceramic and decent. I don't know what that skull was, just kind of hanging there. <laughs> you can make like mini pies in that. Puddings, all that good stuff. I thought they were really cool. Here are some fabric pumpkins. Give thanks and a pumpkin centerpieces. Uh, door janglers. I don't know what else you call them. <laughs> Window gel clings. Hello pumpkin tabletop sign. Give thanks. Fall sweet fall. Welcome friends. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Eat, drink, and give thanks. Gather with grateful hearts. Here's ceramic pumpkins. They had these last year also. Here's some garlands. These leaf garlands. And these are kind of like centerpieces. They're pumpkins with like flowers sticking out of them. Sparkly pumpkins. These ones were weird. They're like leather pleather pumpkins. Here's some sunflower dishes, some lemons for summer, bowls and plates. Here's a fall leaf plate. I was having difficulty getting it out. <laughs> this is the second location. Here are some stickers, purple pumpkins. These are like window clings and stickers. Got a lot of pumpkins. Like a gothic vibe one right there. These are like bedazzled ones. Felt stickers. Uh, foam roses. Things that can go on wreaths or any kind of crafts. Craft feathers. Some sparkly, uh, sparkly spiders. This was like foam putty stuff. And here's their fabrics. Got candy corns, skeletons, black cats, spider webs. Like a spooky design. Pumpkins and owl and things like that. Some ribbon. Got webs, skulls. Here's the bigger ribbons. And some felt pieces, velvet pieces. Things, again, for wreaths and things like that. I think these were like shadow art boxes. A ghost skull. Some sprinkles. A pumpkin. Skull bows, little broomsticks. <laughs> Eat, drink, and be scary. Happy Halloween. There's like a metal cat right there. Which is in Home Sweet Haunted Home. Different decorations. Here are ceramics, sugar skulls, and owls. Shadow boxes, all wooden. Pumpkins, haunted house, more of their paint on crafts, eek, pumpkin. This is a Frankenstein mask, I believe. And this one was a vampire, had to turn around. They had a witch behind there. That's cool that you can decorate your own, like, mask. Here's more lanterns, thin. 
witch, pumpkin and ghost. I think the other one was skulls. Here are the color- there's cat, uh, ornaments, happy Halloween ornaments, just coloring boards, things like that. I think the- yeah, cupcake liners and cupcake picks, cookie cutters, oven mitts, more kitchen stuff. There's like gift boxes, candle lights. These ones were... L they said LED lights. Probably illuminate on the wall and stuff. Pretty cool. Some candles there. More of the lanterns. A spooky tree. Halloween tree. With decorations next to it. Foam skulls. More of the felt projects. Lanterns. I thought that was cool too. You can make your own sign and had a pumpkin on it. It's interesting. Here's more of the fall side. This says rub-on transfers. I'm not sure if they're tattoos or something you can put on fabric. Not really sure. <laughs> Sunflowers, leaves. Here's a pumpkin and an owl. Fall style. Some rope. Well, it says twine. Fall ribbon. Hello, pumpkin scarecrow. Give thanks and gather. Pumpkin hanging signs. Miniature hay bales. These are chalk uh, ornaments. I think that one says give thanks ornaments. A lot of hanging uh, decor. <laughs> Plaid leaves. More ribbon. Scarecrow picks. Bows. Here's more of the craft. We got an owl, a pumpkin, miniature pies, which is pretty cool. Truck, a leaf, ceramic pumpkins. They had some fabric there too. Coloring crafts for kids. <laughs> yeah, corn, bunch of pumpkins, miniature pumpkins, picks, and things like that. A lot of stuff to make your own crafts. Green pumpkins would, I think, would match more with Halloween. More picks. These are pretty cool. The little hanging trucks. Flowers. Little balls. Football. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Halloween. Or pumpkin wreath kind of thing. Here's a lot of ceramic pumpkins. Leaves with your initial on it. Multiple signs and yard stakes. Just a wide pan of them all. Welcome to our patch. Autumn signs. There's bags under there. I like those blue pumpkins. More signs. I like that welcome to our pumpkin patch sign also. Very decorative for a Dollar Tree. <laughs> Multiple pumpkins, more signs. There's a leaf and pumpkin hanging decor, ornaments that you can paint yourself. Football, because it's football season now. Bows. Hanging sunflower and pumpkin, acorn, gel cleans. We have like little platters or spoon rests right there. Candles, ribbon. More standy Thanksgiving decor, tabletop. Ceramic pumpkins, more signs. Corn. Like they had last year. Leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. Here we have an end cap of bakeware. 
oven mitts, cupcake sticks, gift boxes, little trays, cups. And here's the ramekins from last time. Here is a pumpkin muffin tin. And this one is a skull one. Welcome back! I hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough with me. Um, like I said, uh, it's a little lackluster right now because it's still in the beginning. I mean, there's still school supplies and getting ready for school. But maybe I can go back ne uh, in the future and see some of their like more signs and all that good stuff. So, I'll quit my jabber here and we'll show the haul for stuff. Is this little pumpkin guy? Um, I love painting these things. I got about five last year and I don't know, it's very relaxing and therapeutic to paint these. Um, up next is the, I thought it was just one, but apparently it's a six piece thing and you can make uh, multiple decorations. But it's a spider foam craft kit. Hopefully you can see this little spider guy. And I get these, I got them for Christmas for my son and he really enjoys doing these crafts with me. So that's why I got it. And it's awesome that we have multiple. <laughs> this little sp uh, spider, this little jack-o'-lantern is for my son. Because he likes watching me paint the ones I had last year. So I had to give him his own. Here we have this little spooky tree and skeleton. Uh, lantern. I haven't had to put batteries in it yet, but it takes triple A's, I believe. But I hope it uh, illuminates on the wall. <laughs> and not really, well, kind of Halloween or gothic related. I ran out of black nail polish, so I have black, and this is just top coat, rapid dry. <laughs> but we are not done there. Again, not really Halloween related, but I needed them. I got these little sip a bowl, uh, cereal bowls for my son. So he can actually drink the milk, and if he eats ice cream, he can drink the ice cream out of it. So if you're a parent, these things are awesome. Go out and buy them. <laughs> Can't be a dollar twenty-five. And now back to Halloween. First, we got this really, really cute uh, dish towel. Got witches, pumpkins, thirty-first on it. It was a tradition ever since uh, me and my husband moved out. Uh, it wasn't really around Halloween time, but all the kitchen stuff I got was Halloween related, so I had to get another one. And they're actually not that bad quality. And to match, got a two-pack of these pot holders, same design. I got this fabric, which is in the video. It's got a pumpkin, like a tomb and skeleton dude. Here is an owl. I probably could open it, but I didn't want to open it yet. Jeez, I ripped it, and I don't think it's gonna open. It also says spooky. I have a couple fabrics. I bought like a five pack at, um, I think it was Joann's or Walmart last year. I don't know if I want to make like a blanket someday or a pillow, but when I see cute things like this, I'm like, I have to buy them. <laughs> And they can't cheat. And we all know I like to bake and do some molds, and I got these little pumpkin molds. I make um, homemade Reese's, so that'll be cool to make this, or just like different kind of candies. We have this really cute pumpkin bowl. It's kind of cool because I do have a glass that matches this. And this, I at first thought it was a candle, but I think it's just a canister. Yeah, because there's no real like weight to it. Just, it's cool that it's actually orange inside. Usually these things are white. <laughs> Little candy dish or trinket dish. <laughs> and this was not from Dollar Tree, but we stopped at a local game store slash like movie store that rent and you can buy movies. And I got I had to get the craft. I love this movie and I didn't own it and I'm like, hey. So that was my little trip to Dollar Tree, or should I say Dollar 25 Tree. <laughs> still cheap, still better than like like you can get name products there so i hope you enjoyed and see you next time on spooky findings